Well, well, Cheyenne is being a little camera shy. She's standing by my bedroom door, but at least I got Tonto in the film. Well, it's spring. It feels good outside. Uh, and it, uh, you know, feeling good outside. I mean, it's about 70 degrees right now. I mean, we all like to do, you know, fun stuff in the spring when the weather is nice. We love to even take our dogs to the mountains, take our dogs on car rides. But uh, there's one, uh, oh, there goes Tonto. But there's a one uh, thing I need to stress. If you're going to take your dog on a car ride and if you're going to stop at a store anywhere, you need to make sure that your car has adequate ventilation. If it's like above 75 degrees outside, leave your dog at home. Do not take your dog with, with you. Because uh, that would be like, you know, too hot and dogs can't handle the heat like we can. So if it's above like 75 degrees, leave your dogs at home. But uh, if it's like, you know, around 70 degrees or so, I mean, you can like, you know, uh, uh, take your dog's places. But I mean, uh, if you're, uh, if it's real hot outside and you want to like, you know, stop at the store and have your dog with you, take your dog home first and then stop at the store. But, but anyway, uh, even when it's around 70 degrees or so, it's, if your dog's with you, you need to make sure your dog has adequate ventilation and we're going to, like, you know, I got a set up in my dining room here. I'm going to show you how, oh, how to make sure your dog has adequate ventilation when uh, he's with you in your car. Be back in a second. Okay, I have uh, two big fans here that actually run on a battery, kind of like a cordless screw gun battery. You just, this right here is a Makita. I ordered it at Amazon.com and there's probably still some in stock and I think maybe even Home Depot might carry them but it's just uh, this is just a simple setup. Here's a battery charger for it and uh, I got uh, three batteries for this fan since it will run about I guess an hour and 70 minutes on one battery charge hour and 50 minutes something like that but it's just real simple you just slide the battery out here's the charger and uh just goes in like this when it's done charging you just slide it back in this is a makita battery makita fan makita charger and I paid around $400 for all three batteries to this fan. I mean, a charger, fan, uh, three batteries for it, I guess it cost around $400. I'm, I'm telling that is pricey, but whenever it comes to, like, you know, saving your dog's life and providing, you know, adequate ventilation in the car, it's definitely worth it. This right here is a Craftsman fan. Bought it at Sears about three week, three years ago. And uh, this was actually Pockle's fan. And it's not, uh, doesn't really put out the best airflow, but it's, I guess, you know, just set it close to the dog and be fine. And this was actually Pockle's fan. And it's like, you know, Tonto's fan. And, the Makita actually puts out more airflow than this fan right here. And here's the battery and here's the charger. Yeah, that's how you charge battery to this fan. It's a Craftsman fan, Craftsman charger, Craftsman battery. And I don't think Sears any longer carries this fan, but it might still be available on uh, eBay or or somewhere or somewhere like that. And uh, for each fan, the batteries will charge up in about you know uh, 30 minutes or so. Anyway, now we're gonna go out to my car and do a demonstration. 
Okay, we're fixing to take a ride into town and I got Cheyenne's fan going there. I pretty much keep it going because she enjoys the breeze. Got Tonto right here. There's uh, his fan. Anyway, uh, Well, I hope uh, YouTube doesn't, you know, cut off the sound to this video because of the rap music playing in the background by my neighbors. But anyway, this is what I do uh, whenever I go into the store. I set Cheyenne's fan in the seat, point it up towards the window there, leave my windows down about yay much like that, and kind of have the fan angled up to the window. That will help, you know, the fan draw and, you know, cool air from the window behind it and help provide circulation for your dogs throughout your car but that's what I do uh, for my dogs to help keep them better ventilated and you know when the sun's out and all that and thank you all for watching